Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in New York with the frauditor known as New York State Audit as he gets arrested twice in one night for his own brand of stupidity. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So we might do some jogging. I gotta do some running, ladies and gents. Because you know how they be once they know I'm close. Oh, yeah. We got a real narcissist on our hands, by the way. I mean, he thinks so highly of himself that he actually thinks that the police are worried about what he's going to do. Oh, wow. But, you know, I would be more worried about what he's going to do in this video later on because it shows a distinct lack of intelligence on his part, and I will show you what he does that warrants that. Move out of the front of my car right now, sir. You need to move out of the way of the front of my car right now. Your car? No, thank you. Nah, I'm all right. I have a right to be here. I'm telling you right now, you're going to be detained. For what? For auditors are no good at predicting the future, but this cop certainly is good at predicting this future. Well, the immediate future. And guess what? It happens. And, uh, well, it happens for a very stupid reason on the part of this idiot. Looks like he got his eyes set on the next victim. Now, here's the major part that I'm concerned about right here. I mean, New York State Audit is one of those frauditors that is not known for his intelligence. And what we see in this picture right here is uh, going to be a major part in this little uh, fiasco of his in the next few moments. If you uh, take a look at this silhouette right here, the officer has a gun pointed down range right now, a rifle pointed down range. And New York State Audit is going to act like a complete dumbass and, uh, well, get within a few feet of that rifle, in front of that rifle. And, well, you know, you just can't be that stupid and not expect to eventually have a Darwin Award on your mantle. That's hilarious. Don't shoot first and then ask questions later, man. Hey, don't get in front of the window. What do you mean? Don't get in front of the window. You be careful, don't fall. I'm trying to cross the street. Wow, uh, dude, you're not exactly too bright, are you? Because you do know you just passed through the uh, firing line of that rifle right over there. I mean, if something had gone wrong and you would have been standing there, well, that would have been your own damn fault. And you would have, well, uh, yeah, the Darwin Award would have been in your future. This is such a stupid act, you know, and I would hate to see you on a range, on a firing range. I'm sure the range safety officer would uh, remove you without a second thought, and you would not be welcome back. I'm on a sidewalk. Dude, I don't know what he's doing in there. It's dark. Liar! Don't shoot first and then ask questions later, man. You frauditors certainly are pathological liars, aren't you? I mean, not even a few moments ago, you said something about shooting first and asking questions later. So you knew he had that rifle in there. So you decided to play a game of F around and find out. And well, fortunately, you just end up in a shiny new pair of bracelets here in a few moments instead of a uh, round ending up going through your body. Dangerous. That's why Look, I don't know what your problem is. Just go over there, man. I'm on the sidewalk. That's what you guys wanted, right? <laughs> it's literally what you wanted. Is it not? I'm at you know, no restaurant, but James Bond, you back. Dude, I'm asking get you. your lieutenant, man. I'm gonna tell you next. Get your lieutenant. Turn around and place your hands behind your back. I didn't do anything wrong, bro. You're gonna end up Turn around and place your hands behind your You're back. gonna end up Close losing up. this. Get your lieutenant. Make a mistake. A mistake. 
put your money here. Qualified immunity is not going to work for you. So now I'm being detained. Now I'm being detained. I already told you, right? For what? For what? Obstruction. Obstruction? Yep. When I'm exercising the New Yorker's right to monitor act, you can't use that. It clearly says that in the fucking act. So where's your lieutenant? So I'm being detained, right? Okay. You got a lieutenant coming? Well, that was the first arrest of uh, little Danny boy uh, for the night. But let's carry on and see uh, what exactly happens with the second arrest. This should be very, very interesting. Many, many minutes later. I don't think they wanted to make things worse by keeping me there all night. So they gave me an appearance ticket. <laughs> My man was like, oh shit, because I started running. You can't just run past people without them, especially where we are. You know, uh, funny thing is, uh, in this particular encounter, the officers really don't mind him being around for some reason. But as long as you don't interfere with anything, I mean, yeah, just, just mind your manners, don't interfere, let them do their own thing, and you'll be fine. But of course, that never satisfies this douchebag but we got some cops incoming let's see what happens to him from here hey we got some uh, more charges for you so you have to put that down for what the hell is going on more charges yeah turn around for me what you see yeah apparently what the hell did i do it's just go after you can i tell can you tell me what i'm being arrested for again yeah how the fuck am I obstructed? I'm behind the stage. No, don't bring me around like that, man. You're fine, yeah. relax. What do you mean I'm fine? No, just relax. Yo, what am I? What have I done? What have I done? I was behind the tape. What have I done? Yeah, I wonder if this was related to the original issue because, well, what he did there was incredibly stupid. An act of obstruction so irritatingly, mind-bogglingly stupid of getting in the way of that rifle. But, you know what, Danny Boy is not exactly the sharpest tool in the shed. So maybe one day he'll get that Darwin Award that he so craves, but not tonight. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?